From Our Savior Lutheran Church in West Columbia, South Carolina, this is Daily Prayer with Pastor Lance for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. It seems so weird to say this, but in the early part of the 21st century, because um, it's been 20 years now, but like in the, in the aughts, you know, years before 2010, and I don't see them nearly as much as I do, as I used to, but makeover shows were a big, big thing. And, you know, this was probably into the 2010s as well, because I'm thinking about, you know, like, you know, where they grab some woman and they give her a whole new wardrobe and how to do her hair and all this kind of stuff. And, you, you know, they do the before and after kind of stuff. Or the extreme house makeover. Uh, some rundown piece of property and they build it all up and landscape it beautifully and they show you the befores and the afters. Paul is talking about a similar type makeover that we have received in Christ. Let's listen in. He's writing to the Corinthians in his second letter. A reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 4 through 11. Such is the confidence that we have through Christ towards God. Not that we are confident of ourselves to claim anything as coming from us. Our confidence is from God, who has made us competent to be ministers of a new covenant, not of letter but of spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Now if the ministry of death, chiseled in letters on stone tablets, came in glory so that the people of Israel could not gaze at Moses' face because of the glory of his face, a glory now set aside, how much more will the ministry of the Spirit come in glory? For if there was glory in the ministry of condemnation, much more does the ministry of justification abound in glory. Indeed, what once had glory has lost its glory because of the greater glory. For if what was set aside came through glory, much more has the permanent come in glory. There's a real real before-after kind of thing talking about it. He's, he's talking about when it's only the law, when it's only those chiseled tablets that God says, I want you to do this. It's, um, then it's nothing but an onerous burden which you will never, never be able to fully complete. And that's, you know, that's the law. That's what God wants. And you're going to, as Paul would write to the Romans, fall short of the glory of God because you are a sinful human being. He starts off that second set of graphics with the word now. But now, that is on this side of the cross, on this side of the, of the resurrection, on this side of the ascension, you're something different. And God's only word to you is not just the law. It's that he loves you so much, he's willing to give his only son to pay for your sins. And so, it affects your whole life then. And it's that good news, right? So there's God's law, and then there's God, the God's law and gospel. God speaks in law and gospel, right? That you're justified before God, not because you're such an awesome person, but because you believe, you have faith. And all those things, your justification, uh, your faith, those are all gifts of God because he's gracious and loving and giving. So... There's that kind of before and after kind of thing. And it changes the very way that we ought to be thinking. Before, and worship's on my mind because we're coming, we're going to return to live worship on Palm Sunday coming up. And, you know, it's, I say this a lot about, I've said this on this channel before, you know. Uh, no, you don't have to pray. You get to pray. There's a big difference there. Right? And so you don't have to worship. Or, you know, if, 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 you, if you're going to worship because you feel like you have to, uh, then you're going under the obligation of the law. If you go to worship because uh, you are now free, then you get to go to worship. 
And the great thing about worship is, you know, that's where we're quote, supposedly giving God the glory and giving our praise. Yeah, sure, we are. We are. That's a gift we give God, things that he's first given us. But, you know, you don't leave worship and it's all over. Hopefully the words you've heard, you know, reflect in the way that you act, the things that you think, uh, the things that you do. Our prayer today is the prayer that is ascribed to uh, the prayer after worship. And so this is a good prayer. If you have a copy of the ELW, it's in there. But just listen to the words and to kind of fully understand how worship is supposed to change us. It's another opportunity for God to give us something. We go to worship for him, and he's given out the gifts. Grant, O Lord Jesus, that the ears which have heard the so voice of your songs may be closed to the voice of dispute, that the eyes which have seen your great love may also behold your blessed hope, that the tongues which have sung your praise may speak the truth in love, that the feet which have walked in your courts may walk in the region of light, and that the bodies which have received your living body may be restored in newness of life. Glory to you for your inexpressible gift, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our guest lector was Catherine Easterling, and she's a member of Classical Conversations, a group of homeschoolers that meets here at uh, Our Savior Lutheran Church several weeks of the year, many weeks of the year, uh, and they gather together and follow a curriculum. It's an outstanding program. Uh, she's one of their outstanding leaders and teachers, and so Catherine, I thank you. I thank you for watching. Uh, please, uh, like this video. You can share this video. You can comment on this video. And most of all, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel.